Hey friends, it's Robert, and today I want to tackle a project that is perfect for colder weather. We are going to be making reusable, reheatable hand warmers. You put these in your coat pockets and they keep your fingers toasty a little bit longer when you're outdoors. The first thing you'll need to do is select your fabric. This project doesn't take a lot, so I'm actually using scraps of cotton flannel from a previous project. Maybe you even want to consider recycling an old flannel shirt. Take the fabric and cut it down into 5 inch squares. Now to personalize these, I thought it might be fun to use some iron-on letters from my local craft store. The version I'm using, you simply cut out the letter you'd like, place it face down on the fabric, iron it for a few seconds on one side, flip it over, iron it for a few more seconds on the other. Wait for it to cool and then peel away the paper backing. There are a wide variety of these available, just be sure to follow the package instructions. I've seen several versions of this project and most of them require you to sew the hand warmers with a sewing machine. I know not everyone has one, so I've put together this tutorial for a no-sew version. The way we're going to get the two pieces of fabric to adhere to one another is by using something called fabric fusing. There are many varieties of this product on the market, some of which require you to iron it between the two pieces of fabric, Others, like the one I'm using, act just like a strong double-sided tape. Simply unroll it, cut it, and place it along all four edges of one piece of fabric. You want to make sure they butt up against one another so the contents won't spill out. We're going to adhere this one side at a time. So on one of the strips of the fabric tape, peel off the backing, align the two edges of the fabric, and press it down securely. Go ahead and repeat this with a second and a third side, leaving the fourth side open. Next, we're going to take a pair of pinking shears and cut just along the edge of the three sides we just sealed. Now it's time to fill our hand warmers, and the contents might surprise you because there's something you likely have in your kitchen cabinet, uncooked rice. Uncooked rice has great heat retention properties and is actually perfect for this project. I'm filling this size hand warmer with about a half cup to three quarters of a cup. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Now we're going to seal off that final and fourth side, carefully removing the backing, lining up those two edges, and pressing it together firmly to seal. And then we're going to trim that final edge with a pair of pinking shears as well. Just as a test, we want to shake our hand warmer over top of a bowl to make certain that all four sides are sealed and none of the contents escape. Then you're ready to use your hand warmer. Place it in the microwave on high for 30 seconds, and then you're ready to put it in your coat pockets. I do hope you'll give this project a try. You can make them in pairs as a personalized gift for family and friends and keep them warm this season. If you enjoy these DIY videos, I want to invite you to subscribe to my own channel following the link in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching, and please join me next time for another great DIY project.